Um, I wanted to talk about something much more basic than, um, than even flying anywhere, um, basic human right of, of, of clean water. Uh, under the UN Convention of Human Rights, uh, we have the right, all humans have the right to water and sanitation. The human right is to water. It entitles everyone to sufficient, safe, acceptable, physically accessible and affordable water for personal and domestic uses. And unfortunately, Carhe, look, that does not seem to be the case. Um, every day of the week, for, since last January, I've been getting phone calls, um, either from local group schemes or Irish water ran schemes, and we are failing as a nation to provide the basic human right of water. And what's happened now is the new norm in our country is to buy bottled water. Like, I remember being in Germany as a young teenager 30 years ago going, oh, they're mad in Germany, they're buying water, so that'll never do in Ireland. And now everybody's buying water all the time. It's absolutely, completely normal thing to do, buying plastic bottles of water. So what we have now is an issue where you have people who are on low income, people in direct provision, people maybe who are um, at home with, um, you know, on a low income with, with uh, single mothers, and they are struggling to have enough money to buy water because they can't afford, they can't afford it. So they're left with poor quality water, maybe for the baby food or maybe for washing their clothes. Anyway, I, I, I slightly regress, but it, for example, in Clare, in some of the towns, they have had at least 32 incidents of more than three days with no water of any kind. <clears throat> and the group schemes and Irish Water are not supplying any alternatives. Now, under the UN Convention, they have to be, it has to be accessible water. And we used to do fundraisers for wells out in South Africa and Ethiopia, and now I feel like I've got to do fundraisers for people in my own county. And I know this isn't just unique to Clare because you also have huge issues in cities where people are afraid to swim. We can't drink our water, we can't cook with our water, we can't swim in our water. And we really need to peel it back to the basics and at least try and get our water right in Ireland. And I look forward to everybody in this house and the other house um, supporting me in the work we're going to have to do to rectify that situation because we are ending up with a million plastic bottles of empty plastic bottles of water in our seas every day as well. So it's an environmental issue, it's a social issue, it's a huge health issue if you're drinking poor quality water. We've had incidents of E. coli and um, cryptosporidium, I think it's called. Huge issues of that, um, you know, around tourist areas as well. So it affects everything. We want people who live in Ireland and who come in not to Ireland to have confidence in our water. And we need to reinstill that confidence with people um, in water in Ireland. I look forward to working with the whole house on that huge human rights issue. Thank you.